Hi, this is John McDermott, and I want to talk to you today about simplifying integer math when you're writing bash shell scripts. We're going to use a tool called arithmetic expansion. It uses a dollar sign and two parens. Now there are a few rules. The first is this is only for integers. The second is no dollar signs in front of variable names when they're inside the arithmetic expansion. And of course, don't use bash for security applications. Now let's look at a few examples. Here on the screen, I've assigned three variables in the shell the way we normally would. Then I've echoed the product of B and C, and two times three is indeed six. Now, I can use two stars, for exponents, that's good. 2 cubed is 8. I can get a little more interesting and actually perform an assignment inside. Now, that's 6. A plus B plus C, that's good. But now that I've assigned a value to D, it's 6. Now notice I had to use the dollar sign outside the arithmetic expansion. It's possible, though, I don't want to echo the results. So what I could do is take off the dollar sign. and echo dollars D. Again, it's the same six. If you'd like, I can add one to show that it becomes seven. I can also use operations like plus equals or plus minus or times equals. 7 plus 4 is 11. I can say D plus plus. I can use percent for modulus. I can use vertical bar and ampersand for bitwise and an or. I can shift. Left and right, one shifted left three positions is indeed eight. I can put in hex numbers. That's 15, that's good, that's the way it should be. And I can use question mark colon. Remember dollars A. I can use the famous trinary or question mark colon to say A is less than 3, so this will be true. That works. I can assign values, of course. Uh, not this easily. Got to put in that dollar sign. A is 1, so A plus 5 is 6. I can do comma for multiple assignments. I can do shell escapes with dollars open paren and other things. And I can do parentheses, like the arithmetic kind.
Now, a is 1, so 1 plus 5 is 6, times 5 better be 30. Oh, all right. Now, this is valuable. It's easier to read. It's far easier to read than calling EXPR and getting the results back. Well, I hope this has helped you understand a simple way to do arithmetic expressions in Bash.